Hopefully right. neither of these guys are playing Mech Shaman because game number five is getting underway right now. I love that it's come down to this point. We've heard Purple talk about the respect he has for Dog, and you can see it in the way he's been queuing up. You know, he said he was going to queue Face Warrior three times, only queued it once. Yeah, and he can't queue it a third. Yeah, and in game number five, it's serious at this point. Dog, five straight Druid games. I love it. Yeah, this deck just seems geared to beat what Purple's doing. Yep. Purple giving him a... Well, he likes that dog, you know, mulligan his entire hand. And that's a snipe. And that's another Innervate Wild Growth coin hand. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like exactly what you want to draw. Plus, he just draws Zombie Chow. It must be nice, dog. It must be nice. <laughs> hey, man, you know, this is why you play the deck, is because these draws oh, yeah. are brutally strong. Like, I, I can't fault anyone for playing good decks like this. It's oh, just, I 100% agree with you. This is how you win the game. Purple uh, smiles about about the uh, about the wild ghost, but I can promise you he's not feeling good about it. And Zombie Chow is about to get some serious value. Yeah, it's probably gonna get freezing trapped here, and it's again one of the cards that is that is another innervate. It's one of the cards oh that's gosh, really hard for that like is a turn three scenarios possible. Are you kidding? I think he's just gonna go for it, right? Or do you just ancient of war here and? Hold on to your innovate. Yeah, no, I think don't do it. Of, I Come think on. Of war and hold on to your innovate don't, here. Don't be scared. Now the time is nigh. Yeah, there you go. Punish him, dog. Turn three scenarios. This is backbreaking. I don't think Purple can win this game. <laughs> I mean, uh, Purple, all he can do is laugh with the way this match has gone. I mean, he's seen turn three scenarios, he's seen turn three Ancient of War. And he's playing decks with one twos and two twos in them. <laughs> unless, it, unless it's explosive trap, which Dog gets the word it's not, he's gonna chew away at this board position. And he knows, Dog knows this is snipe at this point. He can feel it. Yeah, do you just play the zombie chow into it? Do you just play the sludge belcher into it? He looks a little confused. He just he's like, what what actually is this? You know, it still surprises me that people are surprised when they get sniped by the Archon team. Yep. Just plays the zombie chow. So, uh, you know, on the downside of things, did lose five damage here. But on the bright side of things, he has a turn three scenarios. Yeah, we still got this, you know, giant five eight play. Yeah, at least the Hound's gonna try to make work of this. Yeah, here come the arrows in from the side of the screen. Good news, bad news. <laughs> yeah, bad yeah. news. Not the worst, you could've gone to scenarios again. Yeah. <laughs> I feel, like they're, I feel like they're bad news all around. Yeah, it's just bad news all around. I mean, yep. this 5-7 is just going to rain supreme on this board. Ooh. Yeah. Sinjin actually poses a pretty interesting question here. Yeah, it'd be Sinjin and Wrath or hero power. Yeah, I think I think the utility of the Wrath is still very viable at this point, so not really too many reasons to overcommit to this. You know, again, like, look at, look at it now. Now the Wrath looks like a brilliant hold. I mean, yeah, there's just no reason to do it that turn because it's just overextending. Just giving yourself extra chances at more resources and just getting more information out of purple here is a better play here. Just take your time with it. Rolls his eyes at the wrath and draw one. Even big game hunter for the Dr. Boob. Dog is, I mean, the turn three scenarios was crippling, but now with these kinds of hands, it's all locked up. And now purple draws the you know, <laughs> mark right on time. Yeah, he's always been drawing his answers, but just, you know, a couple turns too late. And it's hard not to draw them late when they get turn three scenarios. Yeah. If you don't already have it, you don't have a lot of time. Yeah, exactly. So Dog can take his time to make sure that he figures out all the different Boombot permutations here. <laughs> I wish there was like a flow chart for this. Yeah, what do you think about just pushing everything upstairs and then going big game Hunter Sinjin? I don't know if I like that as much as clearing some Boombots. You know, he know, for instance, he knows Hunter's Mark is in this build right now. Um, this is really interesting, though. So now, so now at this point, Dog has made a statement where he's okay with trading Ascension for this, for the utility of having a big game hunter against a future Ragnaros. Yeah, I think that's what he's actually thinking about. He's thinking maybe the only way I lose this game is something crazy happens and I get Ragnaros, so he's gonna hold on to the big game hunter for which, there. Which I actually really like this. This is really smart because now he's in a position where I'm not sure Pur oh. I'm not sure Dog could have I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not actually sure Purple could have gotten back into this game without something legitimately crazy like that happening. 
And it's a pretty good turning for Purple. He needs to clear the entire board thanks to a fully powered boom bot and then follows it up here with a Lothab, though Dog does have a pretty good answer. Yeah, he just happens to have the old 510 taunt uh, to, to go at this, and Purple has zero cards left in hand. If he does not pick up something big right now, this game is about to get shut out. It, it's crazy to me that he's still fighting in this game, though, when the turn three scenario is happening. Yeah, well, he did pick up something big. These Savannah High Maids have been very good in, these, in this match. Yeah, this one will get shut off by a Keeper of the Grove. Uh, he's going to draw some cards first, though, get a little bit more information. I mean, yeah, if you're going to draw a card this turn, if you're going to use it to cycle excess mana, you might as well just get all of the information before you do anything. So Silence pulls this away. And I even feel like investing into the minion here is, is a little bit better because, again, you've seen Hunter's Mark. You you know that there's a likelihood he's got something like Iron Beak Owl. Uh, why not hedge your bets against that? I mean, if as far as minions go, that was one of the better ones still left in Purple's deck. So he's at least still in this game a little bit here. Which, again, is very surprising to me considering how this one came out at the beginning. Well, sir! <laughs> just uh, hello there. <laughs> yeah, Purple just covers his eyes yeah. and knows that might be the end of it. Hi, right Ancient of War. We see you. Yes, you can return to your normal board state. Uh, an owl wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here. No. Animal Companions, not awful, but again, having to invest everything into killing this Ancient of War is just, that's just not where he wants to be. And because of Dog's Hero Power, he's, like, Purple's actually only getting in one damage a turn. Oh, why not? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this has been. Gosh, I mean, what what a fight between these yeah, two that we've been seeing. And that's going to be lethal next turn with the Savage Roar. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in Purple's deck. Yeah, maybe there's a Deathwing. And there's the other Savannah High Main, but it's a yeah. little too little, a little too late. I mean, there's nothing little about Savannah High Main, but he needed that, you know, a couple turns ago. Love to see Druid five games in a row from the man himself. I've been waiting for this all season. And once he's clinched, that's when he finally decides that he wants to show it off a little bit. Great build from him. Uh, I think his patient play was pretty good in this match, even a little bit showing off here. Um, but again, at the end of the day, it's it's these small plays like these that can make a big difference. Like, take a look at this game and say that Purple had actually drawn Ragnaros after this Doctor Boom. Dog looks like an absolute genius, and Purple's mind's just blown. Like, how does he have a big game hunter in his hand after that position? 